Rachel Dolezal got washed, okay? Washed, rinsed, and repeated for proclaiming herself transracial? And something that's always bugged me is that where she was just drugged through the mud, Sean King has operated with impunity, all right? A big part of that, I believe, is because he went to Morehouse, uh, HBCU, on an Oprah scholarship. And you know that name, Oprah, in, you know, most of, most liberal in American circles is Teflon. So him being attached to Oprah really gives him this pass. And I think the fact that he um, impersonates or allegedly impersonates a black man gives him a pass as well. Like they can't have anybody out here impersonating a black woman. But black man, oh yeah, go ahead. Have have at it by all means. Now, <laughs> Tim Pool has released uh, a video discussing exactly how awful Sean King is. But once again, I ask if someone is crazy enough to believe or try to push the idea that they are transracial, then what aren't they capable of? Right. I mean, if somebody is so gone from reality that they throw their there's a fantastic video by Tree of Logic where she goes into this man's and by this man's we're talking about Sean King's entire history. It really breaks down how, you know, he isn't what he proclaims himself to be. There's been a lot of uh, people calling him mixed, but he refuses to take a paternity test with the man that her, that his mother claims is his biological father. Wonder why that would be, huh? So, in wake of a lot of ice, of, not a lot of ice, but there was an ice... Uh, attack at a detention center and Sean King is pumping it up so Tim Pool is talking about it and as the guy we got mad love for Tim Pool and I want you guys to notice how him how Sean King look at Sean King's uh photo right there even though it is a little bit shaded due to the um you know the the way that these the way that the video is set up but look at Sean King and look at Tim Pool they're the same color the exact same color <laughs> damn I mean Sean King's actually a little lighter than Tim Pool, and I've been wanting to do a Sean King video, but at the same time, I'm just like, eh, he's not really worth the time, but a boy Tim Pool gets, has an opportunity to be pissed off about it a little bit, so let's just rock and see what he has to say. I don't know what form it will take. I've been saying this for the past couple of years. Sorry. I believe we will see some kind of civil conflict. Now, I've had the conversation over and over again about a second civil war. The reason I don't like that phrasing is that many people will then get this vision of two sides marching towards each other and like clearly defined lines. So what I've said is I think we're, we can expect like insurgency, mostly from the far left. Now we've seen sporadic fringe far right, whatever you want to call it, violence. And I say far right in the reference to traditionalism, people who are like die hard, the world must be this way, etc., etc. But in terms of an actual civil conflict, we need organization. So fringe wackos doing fringe wacko things doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't, I'm not going to predict any kind of civil conflict because one person did something nuts. With this story about Willem Van Spronsen, though, we can see the organizational or ideological support. First, from Sean King, in what may be one of the most disgusting, dangerous, and irresponsible posts anyone can make, but you know what? I don't think he cares, nor does... He doesn't. He doesn't at all. His entire Sean King's entire shtick is playing a victim. That's his whole ideology. That's how he makes his money. Much like the Tariq Nasheed thing, but at least Tariq Nasheed is black. I mean, <laughs> but for real though, his entire thing is being a spark plug for the victim mentality and really um, leftist ideology. He's made numerous posts now supporting overt acts of terror, violence, extreme violence, and Twitter has not taken his posts down. Why? One of his po Uh, because he is of the Oprah tree. And I've spoken of the Oprah tree in previous videos. And it's, you know, Ava DuVernay, I think Lee Daniels, 
um, Tyler Perry, really a lot of the more dangerous elements or seeds for the more dangerous elements come from Oprah and what she um, deems worthy of putting out there. I mean, she had one of the longest running talk shows of all time. And so he's protected due to his connection from her. Notice how TYT quietly got rid of him, right? Post is from weeks ago. So first, let's take a look at what Sean King said. Now we're going to talk. Hold on, he's about to show for 30 seconds. I love you, Tim, but you do show for your, I mean, you show for your site, and that's what you're supposed to do. I don't knock your hustle, but it kind of gets in the way of my videos. That, I'm not, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read what he, what he says. I'm going to paraphrase it. Oh, well. William Van Sprouten. Stop. William Van Sprouten just became the first martyr attempting to liberate imprisoned refugees from a for-profit detention center in Tacoma, Washington. That is disgusting. That is gross, because this man put dozens of people's life in danger but he is so caught up sean king is so wrapped up in his own rhetoric and his own indignation and self-righteousness that he is like yes this is a good thing because my god america is just the worst and it's like bruh you wouldn't you wouldn't even survive he was a he, he his hero was john brown the white ab abolitionist who led the raid on harper's ferry in 1859 this is what our country has come to Facebook, they're not doing it. They're making things worse. Okay, so here's what's happening. Sean King tweets that, I'm not, I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read what, he's, what he says. I'm going to paraphrase it. He calls Willem Van Spronson the first martyr, saying he was attempting to liberate imprisoned refugees. That's a lie. These people are not refugees. There is a distinction between economic migrants and refugees. Not to say that any of them should be in prison. That's not the point. The point is, he is... Hell yeah, they should if they try to get over here illegally. There are ports of entry that you should enter from. So when it comes to this entire detention crisis, yo, they can bounce whenever they... I don't think... I'm not sure. I'm not sure they can just bounce whenever they want. I mean, they might have to be escorted someplace. But no one is forcing these people into um, these uh, detention centers. They listen to their government. They listen to NGOs. They listen... They listened to all these different entities that wanted to get them over here to specifically create this type of drama and crisis at our borders. Manipulating people. He is a sick, twisted individual. This is one of the most terrifying things I've seen. Sean King has 1.1 million followers, and he is dry. Yeah, but that's the thing. I mean, it's the Internet, so that could be astroturfed. Like, I don't trust anybody's sub count. Like, you can sit there and tell me, oh, my goodness, I have. Three. Well, you know, because somebody has four million followers, AOC. Oh, well, you know, they must be very popular and the things that they like must be really wanted and all this other stuff. And it's just like, no, if a company wants to, you know, boost itself up, they can buy followers. I mean, you can definitely there are companies out in India and uh, in uh, South Africa that specialize in getting people followers and you know gaslighting them and getting their um getting their profile up so as far as like follower counts to them they, yeah, I don't even sweat all that shit driving people into madness he says his hero was John Brown the white abolitionist who led the raids on Harper's Ferry in 1859 this is what okay so something that super annoys me is all these comparisons they're drawing false equivalencies right like with the concentration camps the concentration camps are not the ice detention um, facilities they're much nicer and no one r happily walked into a camp concentration camp or um like this with uh with a, a situation that happened li literally over almost 200 years ago what the hell are you talking about like the world is completely different now than it was then and so to sit here and be like oh well you know there's still racism i never deny that I never deny that there's still racism. I never deny that there isn't systemic problems. Never. But to sit here and pretend and to like add, to try to mix what happened, even you can even go back to the civil rights era. We live in different times now. It's one of my big problems with the reparations thing, bruh. You can't. Why you don't even need to draw back to slavery? I that's 
<laughs> like they got that they squared that away back in the 60s it's the things that's happened since that really need to be addressed but no 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 no, no. they can't they here's a good rule of thumb if the argument can't stand on its own then guess what it don't deserve to stand the country has come to he goes on to say uh, presenting the final letter from Willem Van Spronson, who, keep in mind, was a terrorist who threw firebombs at a federal facility. And listen, if you want to have an argument about the difference between a freedom fighter and a terrorist, we can argue all day and night. We can talk about the philosophy of one man's freedom fighter as another man's terrorist. Fine. This is different. This man was throwing firebombs at a facility holding migrants, meaning he was going to burn down the building containing the people he claims to want to save. That is not freedom fighting. Freedom fighting would be showing up in the middle of the night with bolt cutters and trying to break in, not burning it down and killing everyone inside. But of course... He's right. He's telling is 130% correct. Sean King won't tell you that. He says he was shot and killed by law enforcement as he attempted to attack a for-profit refugee detention center. Refugee. They don't understand the distinction between those who come here seeking jobs and those who are truly refugees, those who are seeking, you, you know, who are fleeing violence. There's no reason you can't make a life for yourself anywhere else. But if you have someone threatening you, sure, you're a refugee. The U.S. is not systematically detaining refugees. He says it's a beautiful, painful, devastating letter. And then he says that he's not crazy in action is. No, no, Sean King, you know what? He's right. Sean King, you're 100% correct. Actions are crazy. I don't know. Maybe the act of pretending to be someone you're not and then going and making a career off of the history of the people that you're pretending to be. Ah, this guy is such a stooge. And the fact that he gets taken seriously is one of the most depressing parts of all of this. I mean, I, Sean, grow that hair out, bro. Please, grow it out. I'd love to see all those naps up in your head. No, man, I'm black and Puerto Rican. Fuck out of here. Sean King is now Ooh. saying, not only is this guy not nuts, which he is, he's telling people it would be crazy to do nothing. He then goes on. He says, this is where Willem was murdered this weekend. His actions will be called terrorism, and people will call him crazy, but neither are true. His mind was very clear. No, it wasn't actually. He lost custody of his child, and his friends said he was suicidal. Sean King is a dangerous sociopath who is trying to inflame tensions to break everything down and get people hurt, including the migrants that are in these facilities. Well, that's what he's paid to do. Tim, that's literally his job is to create chaos. Sean King is an agent of chaos, guys. Make absolutely no mistake from his beginning. I cannot I cannot encourage you enough to go check out tree of logic's uh talcum x video from jump this guy has had a screw loose and you know tim's now seeing it but really over here it's been called for a long time he says he is now arm in arm with john brown these camps must be shut down amazing now it was uh so so listen these posts are about a day old Okay, so maybe Twitter doesn't take them down because they're about a day old, right? Which means you've got to report them, then Twitter's got to review them, and then take action. Sure. Should Twitter take them down? You know, honestly, <clears throat> it's, it's a tough call because where the line is between inciting violence and advocating overt acts of terrorism versus free speech, no, it really is tough, right? Is Sean King in his right to cheer on a, a violent terrorist who tried to kill migrants who are detained in this facility? Yes, I mean, he has the right to do it. That just doesn't, because I do believe in free speech. But that don't make it a good idea. And that don't mean any less that he's just a profiteer, a con artist and a grifter that found a profitable grift. That's all. Sean King is, is false as they come. And yet you have a lot of people that sit there and boost them up and for reasons unbeknownst. But yeah, this guy definitely needs to um, be calmed down. He needs to be humbled. And oh, okay. And by humbled, I mean, I ain't saying he's all. I'm like, yo, just stop taking him seriously. Like, seriously, ignore Sean King. He is not. 
if if life were fair, me and Sean King, our situations would be flipped. I'd be the one with a million and some change followers, and he'd be the one sitting here trying to crack a hundred subs. But <laughs> it is what it is. You can't look for fairness. All you can do is try to point out where the bullshit comes from, and this is one of the places that spews the most bullshit. Well, I don't know. And I, I know there's going to be people on the left saying, you were trying to kill the migrants. Listen, you want to talk about hyper hyperbole? Call it whatever you want. If you throw firebombs at propane tanks and cars and try to burn down a facility holding migrants, whether you wanted to or not, you did try to kill those migrants. Okay. I think that's involuntary manslaughter. I'm not sure. It really, it, that like when it comes to charges and stuff like that, your best bet is to uh, worry about the jurisdiction that you're in because every jurisdiction. I can't talk right now. Jurisdiction has different laws. So, so maybe they don't take this post down. It's only a day old, but there's another post from Sean King. I've highlighted this before. From the 29th of June. So what is that? 18 days ago. 18 days ago. Let's call it two weeks because I could be getting my numbers wrong. Two weeks ago, Sean King called for overt acts of terrorism. And <clears throat> well, let's read it out first. History has taught us that concentration camps should be liberated. They're not. I don't want this video to start. I don't want to be repeating myself a lot in this video. So, you know, let's just let him rock for a little bit. We're going to um, cut back in and then we're going to bring it to a close. Twitter did nothing. So, you know what? I've been saying for years now, we will see some kind of civil conflict. And guess what? I, look, I'm not making hard predictions, okay? Because it, you. But that's the thing, Tom. We're already in the middle of civil conflict. It, it's, it's just exacerbated tenfold you can't so i don't want to act like aha i predicted everything was correct no but i've made soft predictions like when ocasio cortez comes out and says these are concentration camps they're not we would then see some lone crazy individuals attack them we did okay that's a soft prediction i don't know where when i'm just saying you tell you you cast out to millions of people this is you know world war ii germany and what do you think they're gonna do they're going to rush out guns a blazing, and this guy did. Now, he could have been, you know, distraught over his kid. I don't know what his motivations were. His friends apparently told numerous, uh, uh, the Seattle Times, I believe, that he was he, he was suicidal. Sean King tweeted on the 29th of, uh, of June, History has taught us that concentration camps should be liberated. We cannot and should not wait until 2020 with the hopes that we defeat Trump to free these children. He goes on to say that people should act now by any means necessary. What does that mean, any means necessary? He says that I think it's more along the lines of a Malcolm X thing. And once again, using that history and that rhetoric to further bolster his own points in 2019 when it's not even close to applicable. And that's what happens to a lot of the imagery and the passion that went from the civil rights. It's been corrupted and corporatized to where now you have these morons like Sean King out here trying to bring a parallel between whatever happened to the migrants to, um, you know, the civil rights uh, error. And a big part of that is because they're bored. These people, they don't know real conflict. They've never seen real conflict in their life. And the deal is, is that he ain't going to be the one that goes and picks up the that 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 firebomb, the ice detention facility. No, no, no. He's sitting here simply suggesting some stuff that you can do. <laughs> That's it. They want to incite. They don't want to actually do it because guess what? That the action has consequences. <clears throat> people should liberate them now by any means necessary. And then someone tried Someone took his advice. And what did Sean King say afterwards? He said, good for you. Good job. You're a hero. That's what he said. He praised him. He called for violence and then praised him. How is this man still on Twitter? Honestly, how is he still being called uh, a black man or a mixed man by all these different people? We live in a bizarre world, Tim. We really do. <laughs> and Sean King is just awful. He's an awful human being. That uses everybody else's struggle to advance his own agenda and his own uh, profits. That's it. 
he's not to be taken seriously. And so that's one of the reasons why I had a bit of a hard time doing a video on him because you really, you cannot beat Tree of Logic's Talcum X video at all. He still refuses to this day to take that DNA test. And one of the funnier parts when he was actually working for TYT is that he do a lot of um, his streaming in darkened rooms or using filters to make him seem, you know, darker than he actually is. And I'm actually looking at the two. I think he's lighter than Tim Pool. <laughs> I really do. Just looking at the two, uh, I'm not sure. But guys, with that being said, if you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike it, go ahead, do that too. I'm not scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to get more interesting videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring, and YouTube's definitely not going to do it. And speak. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Do you can you defend Sean King? If you can, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He's a brother, man. Shoot. He just borrowed my afro pick the other day. Like, <laughs> no. No, 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 no. See, most of our problems, most of these things, like this gentleman right here, he, he should have been cut off the same way Rachel Dolezal was. They, they should have went down together, hand in hand, in flames, as far as how serious how seriously they're taken by figures in the media, but because Rachel Dolezal was pretending to be a woman and Sean King is, was pretending to be a man, and Lord knows they have absolutely no problem kicking the back end of a, of a quote-unquote black man. So, yeah, they're like, oh, no, no, by all means. Oh, he's such a good brother. <laughs> Yo, miss me with that nonsense. Sean King is one of a ton <clears throat> of just professional grifters that have used the struggle of descendants of American slavery, you know, because I don't, I'm not even cool calling it black or African American or anything else like that. But they use that struggle and that history that's not in their blood. It's in my blood, but it's not in their blood to further their own means and, the, and to get their profile popping. That's it. So if you disagree, that's what the comments are for. And until the next one.